Ubisoft is axing online support for 91 games? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews. And today we're going to be talking about how Ubisoft has axed online support for 91 games. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. More on them at the end of the video. Okay, so today's video is exactly as it sounds, and some titles, as per the article, they reach all the way back to the PS2 era. Let's jump right in. In the past year, Ubisoft has ceased online support for a list of games that has grown to 91 titles as of this point. This means that any multiplayer components associated with these games will no longer be accessible along with any achievements or unlockables attached to the online aspect of the game. It's worth mentioning, however, that the support of these games wasn't cut off all at once and doesn't necessarily impact all platforms. Many of the titles are remarkably old and no longer playable on modern hardware anyways, with some reaching back to the V era. Um, some of the standouts include uh, Tom Clancy's End War, Splinter Cell, um, and uh, World in Conflict. Even some staples of the 360 and the PS3 generation are gone as well, like Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, Hawks 2, and Beyond Good and Evil. I mean, it is pretty much inevitable, uh, to be honest. Like, uh, no studio is gonna keep, like, even their, uh, you know, biggest hits uh, online for an eternity. Someday, sooner or later, every game's online aspect is bound to die. Take GTA 5 online. I mean, it's like a huge success even in today's day and age, you know, like 10 or 11 years later, it's still going strong. But uh, I can't help but imagine the day when, you know, we would actually have GTA, I don't know, 6 or 7 or 8 and, you know, the online uh, aspect of those games and uh, at that point, the online feature of the GTA 5 game is probably going to die. It's not going to stay on life support forever and ever. And that's just the situation with every other game out there. Um, sooner or later, regardless of how big the game is, how successful it is, sooner or later, every studio is going to pull the plug on it. This wouldn't feel like such a big deal except that this is effectively destroying large parts of gaming history. As this article by Jeremy Winslow of Kotaku pointed out, games with large online components often get lost in the sands of time when publishers decide to no longer support them, especially when they're so hesitant to allow communities access to the tools to keep them alive. See, my take on this is that in order to aid the longevity of any game, whether it's, you know, uh, a huge success or if it has like any cultural significance at all, uh, to like just offer up a... Uh, local LAN party mode. I mean, even if, you know, you're just gonna take down the servers of the game one day out of the blue, I mean, sure, uh, as a studio, as a publisher, it would make sense for you from a business standpoint. But then again, uh, players who actually are in, still in love with any said game uh, at that point in time, just give them the option to t play among themselves and, you know, their friends uh, via a local online multiplayer. I mean, is that really that hard to ask for? It's understandable that a company can't be expected to keep a game on life support forever, like I said, but some of these games represent some significant accomplishments on behalf of the people developing them. To have those assets erased forever seems like a net loss for gaming history. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at uh, the list of games that are being axed. Alright, so these games, uh, they span out on... Um, all kinds of platforms and across multiple subscriptions or services. Uh, so uh, we have the Xbox 360, we have PC, we have Mac, iOS, uh, on live. Uh, we even have uh, PlayStation 3 and you know some uh, Wii U and PlayStation 4 too. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the games uh, to get an understanding of what exactly is it that's being removed. Um, so we got um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, uh, The Recollection, and Revelations. So, uh, three of the older titles, if you will. Uh, Anno 1404 is going on. I'll provide a link for this so that you can go through the entire list on your own. But uh, I'm just going to be covering some of the major key ones over here. So, Call of Flores, uh, two parts out of the three. Uh, they're being axed. Okay. Uh, Far Cry, uh, Far Cry 2, uh, Blood Dragon, which is uh, a DLC of Far Cry 3. That's being removed. Um, we got Advanced Warfighter 2, oh, Hawks 2, it's going down, uh, a whole bunch of Just Dance games are going, Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, uh, this is the franchise, uh, that existed before the Assassin's Creed, it's basically the older Assassin's Creed, if you will, um, that's going, 
Uh, Rainbow Six Vegas, Rainbow Six Vegas 2 is going, Raven Shield is going, Lockdown is going, uh, Rayman Legends Origins and 3, they're going, Silent Hunter 4 people, that's going too. Uh, Splinter Cell, a, a whole bunch of Splinter Cell games, Blacklist, Chaos Theory, Conviction, Double Agent, all of them, online support, chopped off, dead, gone. Let me know what your thoughts are on Ubisoft's latest move if, you know, uh, they're cutting out online support for any of your favorite games. Let me know down in the comment section below. Clean Phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely. It has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.